I was wondering, are you anxious like many other gamers about the fate of Grey Zone? If you are, then come voice your insights to help shape this game into something we have all been waiting for. And then you can finally be who you were always meant to be. Welcome to the Inside Grey Zone series. This is where I explore your thoughts, opinions, and suggestions. The devs at Madfinger Games are very passionate and want to know exactly what the community wants so they can help shape the game to the community's standards. Today at the forefront of this operation, we have a major shout out to LRI Brett with his post, Grounded Close Combat System. I won't read the whole thing, you can view his post in the GZW Suggestions channel on the official Discord. I absolutely love this idea. Thinking about this brings me back to the Ghost Recon and Battlefield days. Thing about this system is, if done correctly, this can be a very fun and tactical addition to the game. This will emphasize players to play more tactical and stealthy. Think about it. You're off in the jungle, separated from your squad, and out of ammo. You're being searched for by an enemy patrol, but you take them out one by one, silently, with some smooth, tactical, close quarter combat skills. Wouldn't that be fucking sick? To do this right, I think, would take a lot of time and effort, depending upon how detailed you want to get with this mechanic. I would love to hear from our friends at Madfinger Games and see what they have to say about this. In my opinion, a ground close quarter combat system is unlikely, but a regular close quarter combat system is possible for the future of Grey Zone Warfare. We all know that there are three separate PMC factions that will spawn on opposing sides of the map and within each white approximately every six months the factions will rotate main base locations let's go over my main concerns for this will these main base locations be balanced ensuring balanced main base locations within gray zone warfare is crucial for maintaining fair gameplay and strategic opportunities for all factions each main base location should offer comparable difficulty levels and encounters with AI to provide a consistent experience for players across different factions. Other questions that revolve around this concern is as follows. Will the central point of the map where ground zero of the event took place and major points of interest be the same distance roughly, while also still feeling like a new experience once you play a new rotation? Will they have the same mission XP and type including difficulty of missions or will they be different? And what about insertion points? Will they have the same amount and the same distance of insertion points to other similar points for the opposing factions? I truly hope I could get these questions answered for y'all in an upcoming episode. Ensuring balance across the board should be a main priority or issues will arise where you will get too many players playing a specific faction. And then, how will the servers work when one third of the player base is in a single faction? For Grey Zone, I think this can be a major issue, but one way they can solve this is perhaps an incentive of XP or gear of some sort to push players to a specific faction if it becomes unbalanced. I'm not sure any other way they could fix this if it becomes an issue. There's also the same concern with friends of a different faction. With the game's launch supposedly to get into a game with friends, you need to create a lobby for you and three others of the same faction, or less. Then hit the launch button. The game then finds a server for you. I think for now this is okay, but you really need to be able to join your friend's game even if they are in another faction. Because this will 
also sway people to one faction or another unless they can play with friends. MFG stated there will be no missions to kill other PMCs and they want to promote factions working together. What better way to do this than to let friends join others even if they're in a different faction? If you have any insights, leave them in the comment section below with the tag insights or click on that discord link in the description and see you on the other side.